I will ask you again. Will you serve me? If so, I will forgive you for this. Yeah, right! <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Then you will perish. What? What is this? Oh, yeah. The crystal stars? Ah! That's pretty cool. And in the dark, it's so much cooler. Can we get Cortez to help us since he can't die either? Hmm, now? What's this shiny thing? Mayor, it's the Crystal Star! But I thought Mario had this thing! I wonder, kids, if this is related to the sky getting all dark and whatnot. Hmm, you may be right, but I don't know. But if anything's happened to my boy Koops and Mario... Oh dear! That was not Koopy Koo's voice at all. <laughs> Koops, you're okay, right? You promised me you'd come back okay. I, I, why can't I do the, the Daisy voice? <laughs> I am a dude, I know, but I did it earlier. Much, much earlier. Epic music here as well. Whoa! The Crystal Star! What in the world? What's that doing here? This is very mysterious. Yes, a mystery, that. Snap out of it, Elder! Brother! Mario's in trouble! That's what the Crystal Star is here to tell us! I just know it! What could it be? Hey, you're right, Petuni! I can hear... I can hear it! The Crystal Star is speaking to us! It's telling us that Mario is fighting to save the world, and he's in deep trouble. Mario! Flurry! Come on! Don't give up! Flurry? She's not doing anything! Yeah, you can do it, guys! Keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting. Hey, Puniper, I don't hear you saying anything. Gonzalez. I mean, Mario. I know you're fighting far away right now. For us. For all of us. This crystal star has told us of your last brave stand. Maybe we can't do much to help you, but we're thinking of you, and all our wishes are for you for your victory. Ugh! Yeah! Yeah! Feel it! Rock out, Gonzalez! Rock! Listen to me, Gonzalez! Anybody who's beat me is not allowed to lose! That's right! You, Star! Tell that shrimp that beat us to never give in! Fight! We're sending you all our strength, G-Man. You feeling my love, man? Um, why is K, &K now a shady Koopa? Did he upgrade? Gonzalez! Mario. Don't you give up, Mario. Give it to him. Fight, fight. Yeah, never give in. Yes, believe in yourself. Fight. Mario, you may feel like it's going rough, like the tides have shifted against you. But if you lose, the world will be plunged into darkness forever. Please don't give in. Vivian was her name, right? I'm a bit worried about the girl that was with Mario. She seems so innocent. It'll be fine, all of you. Mario will never give up. Mario will stand true. I... I still remember how easily he took care of that monster who had cursed us. We must have faith in him. We must believe that light will return to our world. Fight, Mario! Fight on! Fight! This is so sweet. Mario, don't give up. Fumblem, you can do it. Come on, you bilge pumps. I can't lumineer you. Fight, Bobbery! Fight! Go get him. Yeah, fight. Once more. Go, go, go! Do it. Fight. You got him. Admiral Bobbery, show them what a real sea bomb's made of, mate. Never give in. No surrender. Keep fighting. 
I do hope they're all okay. Do not fear, my dear. Luigi is my finest pupil. I'm quite sure he'll prevail. Well, I worry nonetheless. I do so hope there's a future in which my little bub can grow and prosper. Well, then I suppose all we can do is give him a rousing cheer, hmm? Yes, certainly, I'm quite sure he can hear us through the power of this crystal. Darn right, Dad! Go, Gonzalez! Go get him! Mario, you lovely thing. Gonzalez! Go, Gonzalez! Huh? M mario G gonzalez Not L luigi We are assembled, Mayor. Duh. Good work, my comrades. Now let us do it. Ready and... Mario! Blow him, blah, 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 shabooey, you're the bomb, blah, bomb, blah, yeah, you're the bomb, shabooey, yeah. <laughs> Power of friendship gives us strength. Go, Goombella, rock on, guys. We love you. You go, bro. He ain't in there. Fight bomb. Ahoy, Admiral. Go, Luigi. Uh, I mean, Mario. Is that... Can you hear them, Mario? So many voices. <laughs> they're... They're all sending us their witches and positive energy. That is so totally cool. Ooh, what... What are these vile voices? Mario, look at that! What is this light? Uh. 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 <sighs> Mario. That voice. Princess Peach? Mario, I... What? You wretched little girl! You disobey me! Mario... Take... Take the last of my power. Full stats! What is this? I feel like totally full of energy right now. You brat! Obey me, girl! Farewell, Mario. I believe in you. Peach! Arrgh! Very cunning, princess. But you will not undo me. Know me as your queen. Mario, this is it. We're almost done. Enough. This ends now. Hey, we're getting an audience back. That's cool. Let's start with a power lift. This is the final boss. Truly. Final form. Oh, I almost got a free attack boost. That would have been great. Alright, we've got to get rid of those hands as quickly as possible, so Fiery Jinx is a great way to do that. What? How is it that you can hurt me? Now we've got her number. Time to suffer, Queen. Fools. These fans. Ouch. That very stupid hands. I have defense boost. Ho oh, ho, take that. Well, Gumbella still has the stat boost all the way, so I'm gonna use that to get rid of these dead hands. Okay, that was guaranteed, to be fair. 
Because that maxes out the audience, basically. <laughs> yeah! Your HP, FP, and star power are all full! Ooh, plus seven attack. That's pretty good. Well, I mean, as much fun as it would be to see that happen, we're gonna bail out of here, I think. This is a pretty cool looking attack, though. You suck in all the darkness and then blast it outwards. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we're confused. Oh, that's not good. Oh, hmm, well, uh... <laughs> yeah, that's actually really bad. <laughs> you didn't even damage Vivian. Oh, hey, Vivian, you're not con too confused that you can't fire a jinx, everybody. Ouch. This is still a freaking really hard boss battle. Ouch. Alright, um uh, Bobbery. He won't be confused and he can do ba BOMBAST! Well done, Bobbery. Oh, oh well <laughs> you're gonna try to hurt me like that? There's no way you're gonna be able to do that. Out of your ex not. You can't seriously still be rooting for a, for a Shadow Queen, right? I'll swap to Vivian because she's low on HP, and I'll follow that up with Sweet Feast! Because we are getting low on HP. Don't you hate when the poison mushrooms are right next to all the giant, like, health? That's still pretty good, though. I think that also cured her of her confusion, which is pretty cool. Fire Jinx is the best for getting rid of the little hands. For the bigger, for the multiple hands here, that's going to be a lot harder. Oh, yeah. Cabela still has the stat boost from Power Lift, so that's nice. Ouch. How dare you? Oh, we can only hammer... We can hammer the Shadow Queen? I actually didn't know that. I thought we could hammer the hands, maybe. Alright, these hands gotta go. <laughs> oh, not these little... Uh, not the other hands. Okay, poison isn't as bad as confusion. Still bad, though. <laughs> Oh, and that lasts for nine turns. That's really, that's really bad. Healthy salad could be good. Oh, look! If I really feel like a salad, because that'll cure my poison. <laughs> Alright, well, Goombella, it's been fun, but... I really need to heal Mario's HP up. So, time for another Ultra Shroom. Shadow Queen is the hardest boss in the game, so... 
like a legitimately really challenging boss. Boo! I love you! I'm okay with leaving Gubella poison because I don't plan on using Gubella for the rest of the match. Okay. Supernova would be a. Hmm. Supernova would deal a ton of damage, but it would also drain my star power, so I wouldn't be able to use it again for a while, so that's probably not the best idea. <laughs> you do not know what you have done. Oh, great. She's gonna drain HP the next turn. Just because we can't, we won't be able to move after Veil is over. Oh, phew! Thank you. The many little hands are much easier to breathe. Ow. Oh. Alright, well, it looks like it's time for Sweet Feast. Hopefully that cures poison. It does! <laughs> yes! I'm so glad I didn't use Supernova. Oh no! No! All the big HP is fine! You suck, Poison Mushrooms! <laughs> Darn it! That's terrible for Sweet Feast. <laughs> Outta here. Not again! Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Alright, well, Mario needs healing big time. Get those stupid hands out of there. Gone it, Shadow Queen. <sighs> oh boy. Maybe I should have kept multi bounce. I don't have any attack items either. Shoot! I pushed the wrong button! <laughs> oh, this is not good. Vivian might be dead. I mean, I have a life shroom, but... Oh, that was... Oh, that was really bad. Oh, I pushed the wrong button to attack. Oh, I mean, I have two life shrooms. So it's not, and even if Vivian dies, it's not the end of the world. Uh, no, it, it cannot be. How? Oh, this again. All right. Well, you know what? I have enough star power for a sweet feast. So, if I can end this with supernova, that would be amazing.
Are all the poison mushrooms at the end? Yeah, all the poison mushrooms are at the end! That was really good! <laughs> Maxed out stats! Alright, Veil, and I'm gonna be careful this time. <laughs> oh god, I still can't believe I screwed that up. Can't make up her minds on which hands she wants. Oh, defense is boosted. I forgot she can still do that. Really good boss music, as always. Isn't it cool that Vivian is the one who tends to be the best at getting rid of the Shadow Queen? Because she's of the same like creature as the Shadow Queen. Does Fire Jake's pierce defense? Oh, goody. How many times do I have to beat up her hands before they just stop going back? Or do they always just come back? <laughs> I love the audience is throwing dinner pans at the Shadow Queen. This is great. <gasps> yes! And Bingo was his name! <laughs> who, let's be honest, who wouldn't want to be an audience member in this fight? I mean, ex after she sucks all the souls out of you. <laughs> then you can just, it's safe to join the audience. Vivian, would you do the honors? Goodbye, Shadow Queen. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm sorry. One star point for that fight. But look at all the coins I have. Impossible. Unthinkable. How could I? I cannot be beaten by lesser beings such as these. And I had just been reborn into this world. I cannot. I must not. I. My queen. Good. That was the only fight in the game that actually gave me trouble. <laughs> no! Let's get out of here, Marilyn! <laughs> hey! Hey! Hey, wait! Princess Peach! Mario! Over here! Princess Peach is just fine. She's not even hurt. Well, isn't that convenient? Uh, uh. Mario. So, it's all over then. Wait, oh, why did I do that voice? I'm so sorry, Mario. Who knew all this would happen? No need to apologize, Peach. It was our pleasure. Thank you, all of you. Aha! There you are, Mario! Well, well, can you believe these brutes can even have came after me, an old Goomba? But I still made it here. I was so worried about you all, you have no idea. By the look of things, though, I guess we're in the clear, am I right? You kids sure are the real thing, I tell you. Yes, I seem to be in one piece, too, so all is well. So, without further ado, Take a look at this! 
I found this on the way. This must be the treasure we heard rumors of in Rogueport. My theory has been correct all these years. There really was a legendary treasure. Well, Professor, frankly... No, don't bring me down now. It might be something great. And all's well that ends well. Now, how do you we get out of this dank place anyways? Hmm. Let's go home, Mario. Back to everyone. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Would've been funnier to save her as Waluigi, but, you know. <laughs> so, you're leaving then. Well, that's too bad. Having you around really did wonders for my research. Aw, oh, Professor, we never let you monopolize Mario for your research anyway. Besides, you said I could be your research assistant for the next term. Hmm, yes, that's right. And I thank you, Goombella. Mario, even after you leave here, please don't forget about us, alright? And we, in return, will wish you that you find all the best in the future. Never ever give up, Mario. That's the most important thing I learned from you. Thanks, Mario. Just promise me you'll think of me now and again, okay? Um, Mario. Thanks to you, I've found courage and inner strength. I don't know how to say this, but... I think I like myself more since I've known you. And I feel like I've grown closer to my dad, even though I spent the entire game apart from him. It's all so hard to put into words, um... My dear, dear Mario, I am ready to, to make my comeback in the theater now. I found so many things on this journey that I can only express on stage. And with these new themes, I am so ready for that wonderful spotlight again. Please do come see me once you've finished rehearsing, and bring Peach too, dear. Gonzalez! Oh yeah, wait, I gotta stop doing that. It's Mario, right? Well, you'll always be Gonzalez to me, man. Because I was born in the Glitz Pit and Gonzalez is, and always will be, the champ. So let's meet again, Gonzalez. I mean it, man. Oh? Uh, Mario, I... I feel... I feel like I've grown to look... Uh, yeah, um, never mind. Y yeah, I sure do think that you and Peach make a nice couple. <laughs> I... I'll never forget my time traveling with you. So... Don't forget me either. Aw, is Vivian so sweet? Well, old boy, it was most agreeable that I had the chance to meet you. If not for you, then my dear Scarlet would still gaze down on a broken bob -omb. But now I'm off to sea again! I know Scarlet would have wanted it that way. Let's meet again. <laughs> Let's meet each other again, Mario. And this time, let it be on the high seas, old boy. Well, it is time for us to part, my little cheese hunk. But I will not say farewell. Because you're welcome here anytime. And since you're welcome, you should come anytime you please, sweetie. Now be careful, and until we meet again, adieu. Well, the boat's almost here. Mario! <laughs> Who's this? Ah, we made it just in time. Take these with you. We brought them so you'd have something to eat on the boat. Yummy. These are very fresh mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a great joke. <laughs> Makes up for the dried shrimp she gave her brother. <laughs> oh, how lovely. Thank you. Toad's Swift's like, where's my mushroom, I say? <laughs> Everyone, if not for all of you, the world would, not, would have fallen into a horrible darkness. But your brave hearts strove for peace and saved this world. I don't know how to thank you, but know that the entire world is in your debt. What? Nonsense! We're the ones who should be thanking you, Princess. If you hadn't come to our little town, we'd all be puppets for the Shadow Queen and Grotus. The thought gives me hives. Ah, look! Your Highness! I see the boat! Toads, if you didn't do squat. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Farewell. Oh, forgive my lateness, sir. I must have dozed off a bit. But please come on board. I'll get you folks back at full steam.
Set a course for the Mushroom Kingdom. Aww. They're all such lovely people, don't you think? I don't have too many good memories of Rogueport, what with the kidnapping and all. But it really is a vibrant town full of love for life, isn't it? Mario, I was very frightened when they took me. But, well, TEC was really there for me and helped me get through it all. And I knew that you would come help me as well. I always believe in that. Thank you, Mario. I... Maybe I should listen to Toadsworth and behave more like a princess from now on. Mario's like, yeah, you should! <laughs> I'm getting sick of rescuing you. <laughs> Mario, look out there! Rogueport's positively shining! It's so beautiful! Ooh, that's a beautiful sunrise, hitting the water just right. You've even got the blimp! That's lovely. Oh wow, that's crazy, bro. You had a pretty rough time of it, didn't you? But now that Peach is safe, I guess everything's okay. Really though, how amazing is it that you saved the world again? AGAIN, bro! And say, it's been a little while since then. Are you ready for a new adventure? Yeah, you the man, bro. I wonder what everyone who traveled with you is up to now. Whoa, what was that, bro? Was that your newfangled mail gadget? Dear Mario, what's up? Goombella here. I'm still here working with Professor Frankly. We beat the Shadow Queen, but there's tons of Rogueport lore we still don't know get. So my research with the Professor goes on and on. With the info I gathered with you, we have lots of great leads now, though. Mario, like I always said, every myth contains a kernel of truth. Speaking of which, know what was in the chest that the Professor recovered? You're totally not going to believe me when I tell you. It's a secret! <laughs> but I'll tell you next time I see you. That was rude. <laughs> As part of my research, I did go back to many of the places we visited. And I saw everyone we traveled with, too. Koops is living peacefully in Petalburg with his dad and Koopy Koo. And Mario, guess what Koops wants to do now? He wants to become mayor of Petalburg and live there in peace. Can you imagine? Still, it might just be perfect for him, come to think of it. He's so much more of an adult now than when you left Rogueport. Still, I think Koopy Koo pretty much has him wrapped around her little finger. Wait, what? <laughs> Flurry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic! And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure! Yeah! It's called Paper Mario! I saw it twice! It was totally the best play ever! And somehow Duplis has joined the troupe as an actor! Who saw that coming? His transformation skills are serving him well, but it still kind of creeps me out. <laughs> That's funny, though. <laughs> Oh, and little Sid? Yeah, he's fighting Solo in the Glitz Pit. He says he's getting pretty close to a title match, even. Isn't that just adorable? Oh yeah, he's calling himself the Great Gonzalez Jr. in the ring, by the way. It's sort of silly, but kind of cute, too, don't you think? Oh, and, and wait, I have to get this exactly right or he'll get, like, so mad at me. He, uh, said that he, he could totally take you in the ring now, so bring it. I guess he doesn't change. Isn't that too cute? Vivian's gone back to hang out with her sisters. Family's important, after all. And now the Shadow Queen has been defeated, I don't think Beldum's into evil. Oh, and Beldum also promised me that she would never be mean to Vivian ever again. Yep, I think the Free Sirens are going to live pretty peacefully from now on. But you should totally go visit her sometime. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I feel like there would be too much bad water under the bridge. Hey, how 
Malcolm Cortez didn't help me out in the final battle. He's, I mean, he's he's undead. He could have taken the Shadow Queen <laughs> in a head-to-head -head fight. I mean, come on. Because he can't die. Bobbery goes out to sea every day now with Cortez. I think his soul is healed. I ran into him on Keelhaw Key by accident the other day, which was nice. He was so happy, I thought he was going to blow up on me for a second there. You know, I bet Scarlet is looking down on him and smiling right now. Oh, and I almost forgot. Everyone on Keelhaw Key is well, and they say hello. Well, that's good. Miss Mouse is still running the bad shop in Rogueport, so she's happy. She comes over to Frankly's sometime to visit. But as usual, as soon as she sets foot outside the shop, she turns into a badge ninja. She said just the other day that she had found some super rare badge, actually. That's our globe-trotting, mystery-making, flirting little badge thief, huh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, yeah. In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just a head, which really cuts down on mischief-making. <laughs> if, if I was just a head, I wouldn't want to live. <laughs> I'll just be perfectly honest. Speaking of miracle survivals, guess whose favorite calculator is still computing? He says he really wants to see you and Peach again. Oh, really? Well, I'm totally rambling at this point, so I guess I'd better wrap it up. I just want to say, even though things got tough, I'm grateful for our time together. And there is one thing that kind of weighed on me and I never got to express to you. See, I... Well, maybe that's just best kept a secret. Ah, sorry, Goombella. Uh, Mario's taken. He and Peach have a cake thing going on. So please say hi to Peach for me, okay? Till we meet again, your friend Goombella. Hey, that's awesome, bro! Sounds like everyone's doing great over there! Huh? Someone here? Excuse me, sirs. Oh, I, I thought that was Paracarry. It's Toadsworth. Hello, Mario. Hello, Luigi. Please allow me to apologize for coming unannounced, but... I was cleaning out the storeroom in the castle the other day, and... I found something rather amazing. Yes, Toadsworth found a treasure map. And I'm sure it will lead to real treasure this time. I just know it. So, Mario, you'd love to look for treasure, isn't that right? The boat's waiting for you. I never said yes! <laughs> when are we getting that Paper Mario game? None of these new Paper Mario games. I want the old formula. But yeah, that's Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Holy crow, that, that's gonna be a long episode. I'm at the 1 hour 17 minute mark right now, and I don't think I can cut any of this footage. <laughs> Or a little bit of it, at least, maybe. <laughs> but this is an amazing game. If you have not played it, I would recommend playing it, like, heavily. It's kind of hard, because I don't think it's on the virtual console, so you need an actual GameCube to play it. But that's fine. GameCube... I mean, you can also play it on the Wii. It's just getting a copy of the game is probably going to be tough. So for those of you who can't enjoy it, then I hope you enjoyed my Let's Play. And again, this is not the end of the game. No, sir. This is not the end of the Let's Play. I still have at least two bonus episodes. One will be basically doing all of the extra trouble requests, talking to Luigi, buying Super Luigi, the final volume, making the last recipe, that kind of thing. And then the other bonus video will be me doing the entire Pit of 100 Trials, which is incredibly difficult. I personally do not think... Well, it's just a different kind of hard from the final boss. The final boss is just, like, really 
really long and like Swedish and super powerful. Pit of 100 Trials is more just like grindy where you just have to fight like ridiculous amounts of enemies. And the enemies get incredibly difficult. But, so look forward to that, but that'll likely also be like over an hour long video. Because just going to floor 50 was two videos. And there's 50 more floors after that. But maybe I, maybe I can skip to the 50th floor, because I've shown the first 50 before. Or maybe not. We'll just wait and see. Oh, Magnus Von Grapple. Oh, Super Bowser Bros! But seriously, how about that for a final boss? That is That was like a legitimately really challenging final boss gauntlet, but also really awesome. Not unfairly difficult by any means, just you gotta be prepared and you gotta be a decent level. <sighs> Amazing game. Amazing game. I know it's, the, it's pretty much unanimously agreed that this one is better than the original Paper Mario. I'm still not sure, because the original Paper Mario I at least like more, because that's my number two favorite game of all time. This is definitely in my top ten, though. So, it's a super good game. It improved on a whole lot of stuff, but unfortunately... For me, the real thing that makes it worse than the original is there are a couple things. One, no spinning. Why did they take that out? And also, a lot of the worlds are lower quality than the original. I mean, the original had flower fields, which was kind of a drag, but the, I really like the rest of the worlds in that. Whereas in this, it's like, I don't like the Boggly Woods, I don't really like Twilight Town, I do not like the train, which is interesting. The moon is alright, but, I don't know. I, the, the original Just to Hell will always have a very special place in my heart. Oh my gosh, that was the thumbnail for one of my videos. <laughs> As was that, I believe. I wonder if that's why it was the suggested thumbnails. I wish that was a thumbnail for one of my videos. <laughs> oh, Don Pianta. That's not Don Pianta's voice. Don Pianta. That's better. Pennington. Great. Ugh. Oh. I can't. I really can't say enough about how awesome this game is. Play it. Play it. <laughs> also, this is definitely one of the longest Let's Plays I've done. 46 true episodes, and then there's going to be at least two bonus episodes, so bare minimum of 48 episodes. Not the longest I've done, but... Because Seb Lems is already longer than that. But... I mean... Longer than anything I did in 2017 uh, or 2016. You want to hear something funny? Uh, when I first started this Let's Play, I'm like, I wonder if I could get it done before 2018. Nope, not even close. It's almost... Actually, I bet it will... Actually, by the time this video is uploaded, I think it's going to be March. So... <laughs> it actually took three extra months than I expected. Oh, well. I had this this uh, let's play despite how long it's been I have had a blast recording every single episode. So, thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much even half as much as I did. <laughs> oh, what a lovely game. I'll also probably spend some time before the Pit of Hunter Trials grinding up on a couple of amazing Well, maybe not. That feels like a cheating to me a little bit. <laughs> The end. Ah, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Save all game progress up to this point? Yes, I indeed. Alright! That's the end of this Let's Play! Thank you all so much for watching, especially you, those of you who watched the entire thing. I really can't thank you enough. It it means so much to me that people watch this Let's Play all the way through. And hey, if you liked what you saw, then you could subscribe to me if you want, and it'll let you know when I have new videos out. Leaving likes is also appreciated, but by no means necessary. Do what you want. In the meantime, I've got to go to class now, because <laughs> it's almost class time. Thanks once more time, and until next time, have a great day, and God bless wherever you are.